Hello, everyone. Welcome and thank you so much for joining this episode of the Student World Talks, which is a talk show that is entirely focused on studying abroad. It's me again, Lean, and I will be the host for today's episode, which is actually the last episode for this year, 2021. But does, that does not mean that this is the end here for um, these live series. We're going to have more lives and more exciting and new things to come in January. So please stay tuned for all our new and exciting things that are going to come. And you can do that by subscribing to our channel here on YouTube. And also you can like um, this video if you enjoy it, please. And if you don't, you can also not like it, but um, always communicate with us and give us feedback so that we can improve because at the end of the day, this is for you and the goal here is for you to benefit from these lives. Uh, so I can already see that there's a lot of you guys here commenting and this makes me really happy and excited uh, to see that many of you are here. But I always like to start by asking uh, you to comment, where are you from? just so we can break the ice, get to know each other more. And uh, it just makes me really excited to see people coming from all around the world. Uh, put your flags, your countries, and I will be reading some of them. Uh, so I can see people. All right, so I can already see a lot of comments. So we got from Turkey, from Nigeria, Baseo. Hello, Baseo. We got from Brazil, Lucas. Hi, Melak from Egypt and Muhammad from Turkey. From India, Mayank. Omi from Bangladesh. We got people from Korea. This is so exciting. Thank you so much, guys, for sharing with me. Um, I really like to know where are you from. I personally, I am from Syria um, originally, but I am in, living in Canada now. Um, and I can see Brandy from Costa Rica, from Kenya, from Indonesia. That's awesome. Thank you so much, guys, for sharing. And just like how you shared here uh, your countries and your names and all of that in the comment section, I really encourage you to keep doing that throughout the live by commenting uh, more about you, um, more about your study plans. What do you, uh, where do you wanna study? What do you wanna study? What programs are you looking for? So just take this opportunity to keep writing about yourself because we will be looking at the comment section and reading um, all your comments throughout. Um, so now it's finally time to tell, it's finally time to tell you who is this special guest that is joining us today. So it's a very large institution. It has close to 30,000 undergraduate students and more than 100 undergraduate majors with business, um, engineering, and social sciences among the most popular. So if you're interested in any of these programs, I uh, really recommend that you keep watching this live because this is the right place for you. And also in this institution, institution, you get to discover the hands-on learning opportunities in every major, uh, like field work, research, creative projects, and many more exciting things. So this institution is Washington State University. If you wanna know more about this university, please watch this video.
Great. And now let's introduce our uh, representative from Washington State University. Hi, Daniel. Hi, Hi how are you, Elaine? Good. How are you? How are you feeling yeah. being here with the students, seeing all of them coming from all over the world? Absolutely. So excited. And as I see the chat uh, messages come in, it's amazing to have folks from everywhere from all the way in South America to Asia and Southeast Asia. And, and you know, it's very exciting because Washington at Washington State, we have students from about 125 different countries, um, including Thailand, Mexico, Indonesia, Colombia, Bangladesh, India, Syria, Iran, Korea, and so, so many more countries, uh, Nigeria included and Peru included. So very excited to be here and excited to talk to you about WSU. Awesome. So I always like to start by uh, asking you to just introduce yourself more. Uh, what do you do exactly for Washington State University? Yeah, so I'm Daniel Saad. I'm the Director of International Admissions for Washington State University. That means that I am the individual uh, there here at WSU uh, looking forward to meeting students from all around the world helping them through the admissions process to come to WSU to whether they want to pursue their bachelor's degree or master's or doctoral degree program. If you're an international student, um, our Office of International Program is here to help you uh, figure out a future for you at WSU. Um, and we serve the university uh, with our flagship campus in Pullman, Washington. Uh, but then our other campuses in five other cities uh, throughout the state of Washington. Great. Thank you for that, Daniel. Uh, so now let's talk about Washington State University. So what is the unique qualities of this university? Yeah. So, you know, I, I think what you saw that in the video, right? Um, we often joke here on our campus that we have a secret sauce at WSU. Uh, and people often say, well, what's the secret sauce, right? Everyone knows KFC has a secret recipe and so forth. The unique thing about WSU is, to be very frank with you, it's actually the students that come here. It's a, we have 200 and plus degree programs in software engineering and our top agricultural sciences program, our international business program, our, our hotel and tourism hospitality business management program. We have an excellent wine sciences program. Um, so with nearly 100 plus degree programs at the undergraduate level, 200 plus degree programs across all the uh, bachelor's, master's and PhD and doctoral level degrees, there's really something for everyone to study. Uh, you can study pharmacy, you can study nursing, you can study engineering. And what's more is that Washington State has a track record of nearly 130 years of producing entrepreneurs and graduates who have gone on to do some amazing things. Uh, Paul Allen, who co-founded Microsoft with Bill Gates, is a Washington State University graduate who studied computer science with us. Anna Cabrera, who you will often see on CNN as the host, she studied journalism in our School of Journalism and Communication. Um, so there, there are leaders at Boeing and Amazon and other uh, Apple and Google and Nintendo who have all gone through WSU's degree programs and they have then gone on to do these amazing things. So it's certainly the student. The other cool part about WSU is that if you're a student who is really looking for that really unique American college experience where you get to make friends, lifelong friends, you get to be part of intramural sports teams. You get to be part of student clubs and really have those memories that you'll carry with yourself for a lifetime. That is what's unique about WSU. And I know every school lean will tell you that you'll have that experience. But, you know, we have like 500 plus clubs. We have 500 plus study abroad opportunities. And usually when students say, OK, well, that's a really large institution. I tell them, yes, we are very large, but having worked at other institutions around the United States and abroad, it's the only public university I know where the professors, despite how big their classes are, will remember the student by their name. 
So if you are struggling in a psychology class or if you're struggling in a math class and you go to the professor, they will make sure that you understand. They are truly committed to the student's success. Um, if a student is struggling with some sort of scholarship or something that has happened that has caused undue hardship, we have our international student and scholar services that helps the student. And oftentimes it's very common for our professors to advocate for our students and say, you know, the student needs help, can you help them? Um, and that's also very unique. So uh, it, it's a, it's like I said, uh, WSU, WSU has a secret sauce. And I think any student that goes through it, uh, we say once a coog, always a coog. And there's a very, really cool spirit about being a coog. That sounds great. Um, I really encourage you guys to take advantage of that because uh, as Daniel says, uh, said, there's a lot of uh, programs there. So definitely there's one for you. So please asking, uh, please keep asking about your specific programs and what you are looking for in the comments. Um, so that sounds like, a, you know, like explaining about the campus and all of that sounds like such a supportive and a strong sense of community going on there in the university. And we are going to uh, talk about that at the campus in another topic uh, for sure, because uh, I'm sure the students are interested in that. Uh, but now um, let's talk about the business school mm. in Washington State uh, University. So as we already mentioned at the beginning, it is one uh, among the most popular. Uh, so what is unique about the university's business school? Great question. So our Carson College of Business really has become a premier since its inception, a premier institution. Um, it has the top online MBA program in the country. Um, so if you're an MBA student looking for online MBA program, highly recommend that. We only offer our MBA program online, and that's only the only master's program we offer. But the other unique thing about our College of Business is uh, two pieces. One, our hospitality and tourism, our hospitality and business management programs actually within our College of Business. And what that means is that students are really propelled into the business acumen of working in hospitality and management. And, and because there are also field experiences associated with it, it's very common if you go to Marriott Hotels, Four Seasons Hotels, to find a WSU graduate. And you automatically build this relationship because you as a student or a graduate off of WSU know someone else who is an alumni working at Marriott or Four Seasons Hotel. Um, so that piece is pretty cool. We have wine and beverage management program in our College of Business. So Washington as a state has a pretty large wine industry. And so if you are, we, we have had students from Turkey and other parts of the world from Italy, Chile, who have come and studied wine studies. But what's unique to that is there's also, it's designed to all for students to also work within the larger beverage management industry, right? So working for Coca-Cola, PepsiCo, those are some of the, the environments in which students can actually go on to work. And lastly, I think our international business program, which really gives students a global perspective on how to work in a global economy with the acumen of a, of a business person is very cool. It's consistently ranked as the top 20th, in, uh, 20th international business program in the United States. And so when you compare us and the cost of all of this compared to how well ranked our programs are, I think you employers recognize that. And what they find is that students coming out of WSU have that strong background to be successful in their jobs. And so it's very much, um, it's just the norm now when our students each year in spring are getting ready to graduate and we hold career fairs, our employers are accepting resumes and then inviting WSU Cougs for interviews. That's really interesting. Uh, so. I know like you already mentioned some of the really interesting uh, programs, but how many business programs are actually there? And uh, can you just give us a brief um, overview of uh, which ones are actually the most uh, popular among international students? Yeah, so uh, international business is perhaps the most popular program in our undergraduate student, amongst our undergraduate programs, a total of about um, 
roughly around, I believe, 12 programs exist. So that includes accounting, business administration generally, entrepreneurship has become a huge major, finance, hospitality, business management, international business, ma general management, management information systems, marketing, wine and beverage business management, and senior living management. So those are our top, uh, our total majors that are offered within the College of Business, uh, so around 11 majors. International business, as well as um, accounting, finance, international business, and uh, uh, marketing and management would be the most popular. Awesome. And uh, what are the credentials offered for the business programs? Are there both undergraduate and undergraduate? Yeah, so, so they're, they're all uh, bachelors of science in business administration degrees. Uh, they're fully accredited by American Association of Colleges and Schools of Business, which is the premier accreditation for colleges of businesses around the world, AACSB, and only about 5% of the business schools around the world have that accreditation, and WSU is one of them. Um, and then, of course, we also have our online MBA program, which is also AACSB accredited. That's awesome. Thank you for that. So while I was doing the research, I came across something called a double major. Can you perhaps explain to the students what is a double major and how does it work? Yeah, great, great question. So what, one of the things we really try to uh, help our students understand when they're here at WSU is that this is your time to make it what you want, right? So you can come in and study international business and you can study finance, accounting, management. But what that also means is, let's say you have interest in something very unique. So I give my example that when I started studying in the US as an international F1 student, I was really interested in biochemistry. Uh, but after my first year, I realized I also wanted to study international relations and political science. Um, and so I ended up doing a double major in biochemistry and international relations. And that is one of the unique opportunities that WSU also offers, which is that you are able to study business and you can then also study biology, or let's say you want to study accounting and then you want to study finance, you can study both of those majors. You can choose a major within your college or you can choose a major outside of your college. So it's very common, for instance, for our students, let's say, who want to pursue a career in beverage management because they think they want to work for PepsiCo or Coca-Cola to do a degree in wine and beverage management. And let's say they really want also to have a degree in finance, they can do a double major in those. That sounds really interesting. Uh, so what is, I know that you already talked a little bit about how uh, students get to learn a lot, uh, like firsthand experience and work experience mm -hmm. like that. So can you explain to the students uh, more about the learning style uh, for the business programs? Sure, yeah. So uh, all of our majors, uh, including the College of Business, are really designed for students to have some um, hands-on learning as well. So there are opportunities for students to do what is commonly referred to as internships or co-op opportunities. We actually at WSU as a large university have a strong student support system for international students to pursue optional practical training where after their degree, they can pursue an internship if they wanted to do it at JP Morgan Chase or maybe they wanted to do it at Marriott Hotels. Um, and the way we help students achieve that is that we have a specific center within the university called our Academic and Stu uh, Academic Success and Career Center. And the Academic Success and Career Center will actually bring employers to our campus as part of our career expo through our peer tutoring program, through our career coaching program. And when they bring those employers to the campus, together with our international student and scholar services, they support the student in actually getting the appropriate visa approvals so that after their degree, they're able to pursue hands-on learning to work for a employer. Oftentimes, students may want to pursue an inter internship during their bachelor's degree, which is an option as well. Again, they would work with our 
Academic Success and Career Center. And within the Carson College of Business, we have our Carson Student Success Center, which helps the student find these opportunities, helps them navigate their entire curriculum so that they're able to not only take advantage of these off-campus opportunities, but also able to complete their degree program in four years. And together with our international student and scholar services, we're able to guide an international student with the appropriate, appropriate visa authorization so they're able to work and really showcase themselves in a, in, a, in a wonderful light to their future employers so that if there are job opportunities after they graduate, they're able to pursue those. That's a, that's a great way for students to build their work experience. Uh, so thank you for that. So as you already mentioned, there's a lot of really unique and interesting uh, uh, business programs at uh, WSU, such as the number one online MBA program, um, and also there is something that I came across. It's a one year data analytics MBA program. Can you maybe explain to the students what is that? Yeah, so our online MBA program also allows students to do a data analytics specialization. As you can imagine in the world of um, a really frankly internet and a lot of big data that has become very important for students, right? And so students who per perhaps want to pursue that, um, they can earn a top-ranked MBA program, uh, top-ranked MBA degree with a specific specialization in data analytics. They'll take a standard curriculum off our MBA program, but they'll do data analysis, they'll learn, they'll get some foundations in finance, business law, and marketing, but then really how to analyze the data, they'll, uh, how to transform data into decisions. That's a big piece. So really learning what business analytics are, that's a huge piece of that program as well. And being able to do things like strategic planning when they're in that program, that becomes an important piece of that as well. Um, so the program allows the students to really navigate their own graduate degree by providing them these core courses, which includes things like data analysis and business analytics. And as you can imagine, dur dur during these days, every organization, every business is interested in knowing what, what is it that the consumers want, right? We know that consumers are ever-changing. We know that consumers have become very much focused on their own identity and what's important to them. So the business analytics course is really helping students understand what is it that their business should be focused on, but also what is the consumer behavior? What is the demand out there in the market? Um, and we really try to help students who want to pursue this MBA program. Uh, typically, most of our students that are doing the MBA program tend to be uh, middle career managers who are in the, um, in the in the industry already and are trying to go progress up the ladder the corporate ladder so so that really helps the students also bring in their own life experiences to their mba program and and actually uh, actually make more meaning of their mba degree um, than if they were coming straight from undergraduate degree that's great uh, so i just see a question here from um, mayank um, I'm interested in a master's in data science. Can you say something about the program and the overview of the acceptance process? Yeah, so if you look at our data science program, you'll actually find that we that's offered through our data analytics program, right? And it's part of our online program. We also, one of the things I'll encourage you to look at is if you go to international at wsu.edu. Uh, we have a very strong data analytics program. Of course, our foundations are based on the College of Computer, our College of Engineering and Architecture, which includes our computer science program. So students are really able to choose one of two things. They can choose the MS computer science and then really go that route. Or if you just want to do primarily focused on business analytics and focus on that side, then I would encourage you to look into our online MBA program as well that allows you to go into business analytics. But if you want to uh, rank, email us at international at wsu.edu, we can actually have an advisor work with you to help 
you really navigate if you want to do a master's in data science, what industry you want to go into, because data science as a whole is a pretty big field, right? Thank you, Daniel. Uh, so Lucas is also asking about the master's in public affairs. Yeah, so great question, Lucas. Um, we have quite a few masters that focus on public affairs. So we do not currently have an MPA program, uh, but one of the things you would want to look into is our MS in political science, which is actually much more focused on public policy um, than you would anticipate. So it, again, it's shoot us an email at international at wsu.edu. One of the cool things about our MS political science program which allows students to study uh, also public policy and public administration as part of that process is that it really also goes into political theory. It goes into understanding systems of governance. Um, and more importantly, for international students, we offer conditional admission that does not require GRE, that also has different IELTS and TOEFL score requirements. Um, so I strongly encourage you to shoot us an email and we'll get you connected with our MS Political Science. We'll help you achieve the same goals. All right. Thank you, Daniel. And thank you guys for your questions. Please keep them coming. Uh, so other than business, um, there's another field that is also very popular at WSU, which is engineering. So can you give yeah. us a, a brief overview of the fields um, of study offered at the engineering department? Sure. So our, our Boylan College of Engineering is actually one of our top uh, programs as well, just like our Co Carson College of Business and Analytics. And if you go to vcea.wsu.edu, you're actually able to also look at our various majors. We have, again, clo close to, I believe, um, if I'm not mistaken, 15 different majors. So that includes architecture bioengineering, chemical engineering, civil engineering, computer science, computer engineering, construction engineering, construction management, electrical engineering, interior design, uh, landscape architecture, material science and engineering, similar to metallurgy, mechanical engineering, and software engineering. So as you can see, we have a plethora of options for students who want to study engineering, architecture, or design to really pursue both a bachelor's or a master's degree at, in those fields. Um, our engineering and architecture college is consistently ranked as the top 60 colleges in the United States as well, and has a strong reputation of building entrepreneurs in the field. And uh, it's not uncommon uh, for our graduates in the engineering and architecture computer science fields um, to really, before even they graduate in the final semester of their studies, to already have um, secured employment opportunities and working with our, with our Office of International Student and Scholar Services to make sure they're able to, um, able to have visa authorization to work in the United States. The other cool thing about our College of Engineering and Architecture is that all of those programs um, bioengineering, chemical engineering, civil computer, those programs are approved for three years of optional practical training, which means after your uh, degree, you can actually stay back in the U.S. for up to three years to pursue employment. Um, and it's very common for our international student population to do that. Great. And out of all these um... Uh, like amazing programs that you have mentioned, which, which ones would you say are the most popular um, engineering choices for international students? Yeah, it's a great question. So, Lean, it goes without saying, because of our alumni, the computer science program continues to be our most popular, right? Like, I think everyone that comes to Washington, because of where we're situated, because of how many tech companies are in the state of Washington, and being a state public university, that continues to be our most popular program, um, our computer science program. And second after that is, of course, electrical engineering. Great. And actually, we have a question about the computer science program. Um, my major is business. Can I take computer science undergraduate program? 
That's a great question. Um, and actually, Lean, earlier, you know, when we were talking about double major, right? And we talked about how you could do double major, this would be a perfect example of that, right? You could do a degree in business management or business administration and do a second double major in computer science. Or even if you're studying business currently at another university and you're thinking about transferring to WSU, you can certainly do that and apply to transfer to computer science. Awesome. Thank you. Uh, so, guys, I see a lot of questions also about the scholarships and financial aid, and we're definitely going to talk about that um, after talking about the programs. Uh, so there's also a question from Rohit. Do you guys have a master's in business analytics and it is, is it a STEM designated? Great question. So Rohit, the business analytics as a uh, program is part of our MBA program. Uh, the best way to help you guide if you're looking towards a STEM designated MS program would be to email us. Uh, you would probably want to do a focus on data analytics as part of the computer science program. Um, so reach out to international at wsu.edu. Uh, we will get you connected with our MS Comp Sci. We also have a pretty cool program in uh, data analytics more so. Um, that is together with our world-renowned mathematics and statistics department. Uh, we One of the cool things about WSU is that there's faculty that you'll be learning who literally have Wikipedia pages after, after them. And so you get to learn from world-renowned faculty um, and we can help you navigate that for the specific focus you have. Great. And also, while I was doing the uh, research, I came across something called uh, STARS program. Mm. Uh, can you give us a, a just like an idea of what is that? Yeah, sure thing. So the STARS program actually is part of our uh, WSU's School of Molecular, uh, Molecular Biosciences program, which is for students targeted towards advanced research studies. So let's say we have a student who thinks they want to pursue a PhD, or maybe they want to go to medical school or pharmacy school. The STAR program, what that does is it helps students pursue a career into medical school, dental school, veterinary school, or pharmacy school, um, and really receive some mentorship while they're studying uh, in the United States. Um, so they can earn a bachelor's of science degree in biochemistry, genetics, cell biology, microbiology, or neuroscience in as little as three years and then apply to uh, our doctoral programs. The one exception is that, of course, within WSU, uh, we have a doctor of veterinary medicine, which, you know, during the pandemic has become a very popular program for us, Lean, because as you can imagine, uh, one of the things we've learned from the pandemic is so many of public health diseases are common between animals and human beings. And so really a lot of the research that we do around how to help public health officials combat diseases like um, COVID-19 and it actually starts by also working with veterinarians um, and so our doctor of veterinary medicine program which accepts international students is one of the top 40 programs in the country and so students who come and study genetics molecular biosciences can actually then complete a bachelor's of science and a doctor of veterinary medicine degree in seven years similar to that, they can do the same thing with our doctor of pharmacy degree as well. Um, and so that's really what the STARS program has been designed to do. That sounds really interesting for the students. Thank you, thank you for that, Daniel. Uh, so actually, uh, I know that you mentioned uh, briefly something about PhD programs. There is a question mm -hmm. about that. Uh, I'm interested in microbiology. I want to get a PhD abroad. How to begin? That's a great question, Hi, Muna. Um, the first, best way to do that would be to visit our website, uh, which is www.wsu.edu, and click on graduate school. Our graduate school does offer fully funded PhD programs for students. Uh, you would visit that website and then go through the PhD uh, microbiology program. We do have that program. And what you would want to do is connect with a faculty member whose research aligns with your research interests. 
It is the faculty member that will help you um, understand whether or not they're accepting PhD students. And if they are, then they would, you should schedule a time, time with them uh, to actually talk about your interest, discuss how, how many openings they have in their research lab so that then you can apply for admission to our PhD in microbiology program. Great. So there's also another question uh, from Isamar related to something that you also uh, mentioned. Uh, I want to do a master's degree in vet medicine, especially in wildlife. Do you have something? Yeah. So we currently, our doctor of veterinary medicine program is a pretty broad program that will allow you to cover a lot of both small animal, large animal, or go into wildlife medicine as well. Um, that's what you would want to look into is our DVM program. Awesome. Great. Uh, thank you, Daniel. And thank you guys for your questions. Uh, so other, so we know like business and engineering are both really popular, but you have many more uh, graduate and undergraduate uh, programs offered at WSU. So can you give us uh, just like a brief overview of what other programs that weren't mentioned? Like perhaps we know a lot of the students here are interested in psychology, nursing. So what are other uh, options that they could pursue? Sure. So WSU has 11 colleges, and I know we have talked about engineering and architecture and business, but in addition to that, we have programs in agricultural and food sciences, uh, soil sciences, crop sciences. We have um, in our School of Economic Sciences, we have programs. We also have programs in our College of Education, uh, both master's, bachelor's, and PhD. And, Doctor of Education programs. Our College of Nursing has Bachelor's of Science in Nursing and Master of Science in Nursing program as well. And then in addition to that, we obviously have our College of Pharmacy uh, and Pharmaceutical Sciences that offers Doctor of Pharmacy as well as uh, our uh, Pharmaceutical Sciences PhD program. Same thing with our the College of Veterinary Medicine. There are a lot of other Life Sciences PhD uh, programs in that. Um, and then, of course, in addition to that, we have core colleges of arts and sciences that offers a variety of master's and PhD programs, including in political science, in psychology, in sociology, uh, in behavioral psychology, uh, so many other options, math, arts, fine arts. Um, all of those options are also available. Um, so the best way to learn about all our 200 plus degree programs would be to visit our university website, www.wsu.edu. For international students, they should visit www.ipip.wsu.edu and we'll list all our programs over there. Great, thank you for that, uh, Daniel. So there's also a question also about uh, the political science that you were yeah. talking about. So Sue Claire is asking, do the university has political science and international relations major? Could you give some information? Yeah, yeah. we do. We have an excellent poli-sci and international relations program, including our very own model UN team. And so when you come into the program, you'll study certainly political theory, you'll go into international development, you'll start also learning about international institutions. Um, and certainly you'll also learn the history um, or the history of the world, which will focus on World War I, World War II, um, and really sort of the international institutions that were developed as an outcome of the, the World War I, World War II. Um, and in addition to that, I think one of the cool things is about the program as a model UN program, right? So students get to participate in that. Of course, many of the model UN uh, competitions have been virtual uh, due to the pandemic, but what that does is it prepares our students to do well and then prepares in, in the employment field, right? So they can go on and work for international institutions or other international organizations and nonprofits if they want to, or they can choose to go work for their government uh, back home. Uh, we have an excellent program. Again, I uh, welcome you to visit ip.wsu.edu, and then you can click on uh, studying whether you want to study a Bachelor's of Science in poli sci and international relations or at ms in political science those are both available great thank you uh so 
from Turkey. All right. So just before we move on to uh, talk about the campus and uh, just like more about uh, the student clubs that you were mentioning, I just want to mention that I saw something uh, during the research also about uh, customizing uh, programs. So can you tell the students how does that work? Yeah, great. So I think as I was sharing earlier, right, we're very big on student support. Um, we obviously have our academic success and career center here on campus. And what students would do is if they want to customize their degree program or they want to study an elective or a minor, uh, they would work with their advisor. Um, that's it's as simple as that uh, to make it students pursue their dreams of whatever it is that they want to study or do a customizable program that would work with their advisor uh, to see how can that be done. Oftentimes, it's pretty easy, uh, right? Sometimes you also have to find faculty for it. So there may be some times when it takes a little bit longer, but all they would have to do is work with their advisor to make sure that they're able to pursue that. And our Academic Success and Career Center helps our students do that through their academic services. Perfect. Uh, so at the beginning, you uh, were talking a little bit about, um, you know, how supportive uh, the community is at WSU. Um, can you maybe also again, just like describe the feeling of being um, for the international students being there in the campus? Like um, yeah. how big the campus is, what what sizes are the classes, and just like to to make the international students know more about the feeling of being there. Yeah, of course. Yeah. So I, you know, I. I, I always tell people that it's a very infectious campus in terms of their their the infectiousness of the spirit of WSU, right? So we are a a campus where everyone believes a lot in school spirit. Uh, when you drive into the campus, you if you're an international student, there's a very good chance that you will have students actually students actually talking. See, it's seeing welcome in one of their languages, right? So there's a welcome sign in 40 different languages that students will be able to uh, see when they come to our campus, especially our flagship campus in Pullman. The students actually are also able to find a very supportive campus community, right? So in Pullman, but also on our other campuses, WSU faculty, staff, and the community realize how wonderful international students are to our community. And so it's very common for the faculty to start saying, you know, talk to us about your experience at home. How would this be different? We want international students to share their life experiences and bring what they have experienced at in their home countries to the classroom here uh, and enrich the discussion for our domestic students to learn from them, right? Um, and so typically in, very, in a classroom where whether you are taking first year course like Intro to Psychology, typically those class uh, lecture sizes are about 100 students. But again, like I said, it's pretty common uh, even in a large class size like that where a student can approach the faculty member uh, with any questions and the faculty will say, okay, that's great, let's meet up in my office. Um, there are office hours available. Um, also, we have this motto at WSU, which is that kooks help other kooks. Uh, and what we mean by that is that really, when you walk through the gates to come to WSU, you're part of a family, and that's for life. Um, and I, what I want, the best way to describe this would be that most recently I was traveling and I was at, at an airport and someone sitting next to me saw that I had a luggage tag that said WSU on it. And she asked me, she goes, do you mind watching my luggage? I said, okay, sure. I said, that's weird. She could have asked so many other people, why did she ask me? So when she came back and I said, I'm curious, what made you ask me to watch your luggage? And she goes, oh, I'm a kook. I went to WSU and I saw you have a WSU luggage tag on you. So there's this innate feeling that kooks help kooks. And so it's very common for our students, even in a class size of 100 students, where the students sitting next to them would say, hey, I don't understand this. Can you help me understand that? You'll see students forming study groups around fireplace during wintertime in their study spaces that we have all across the campus. 
you will see during summertime and during football season, really students going together with everyone in their residence hall together to a football game or in the as the campus starts opening up in September after summer break, sitting around a fire bonfire and discussing what happened that day in school. Um, that's pretty common. That's very much a WSU feeling. Um, more importantly, if students are coming to uh, WSU, that, like I said, they'll find students that are from all different parts of the world, from nearly 125 different countries. Um, they'll find students from all 50 states of the United States. So it's pretty common that you may be sitting in a classroom of just 30 students in, say, a biochemistry one or a class, and you will find that the student sitting next to you is from the state of Hawaii or is from the state of Alaska. That's also a very cool experience for our international students who often do not realize how far reaching our, our student population is from. That's awesome. I really, uh, I really love hearing about this community. It sounds so great. And I think the students agree with me because uh, I just saw this comment. So thank you, uh, Nick, for commenting that. Um, you know, like it just sounds so great with like the diversity and the multicultural experience and all of that. Uh, so thank you, Daniel, for sharing that. Uh, so can you tell the students about the lifestyle in Washington and maybe uh, just a general overview of the cost of living there? Yeah. Absolutely. So we, WSU as such has a pretty... Um, affordable cost of living, right? So on average, all our first year students, when they're coming into a bachelor's degree program, they're required to live on campus. And the reason we require students to live on campus is because it gives them an opportunity really to experience what I've just talked about, right? These campus experiences where we bring on concerts on campus, we'll have Snoop Dogg and Billy Ellish and Ed Sheeran and Sam Smith and all, uh, you know, those types of events, which is all paid for by the student activity fee as part of your tuition and so forth. And so students really get to have those experiences. They get to experience our American football, our soccer, our tennis, a uh, uh, plethora of sports, uh, which we're very excited about all, each year when we have those on campus as well. And then the third piece is if a student after their first year want to move off campus. There's plenty of housing available off campus. And so students are able to afford for something as little as about $500 a month in a shared apartment uh, with for their own room. And that's also pretty common for our students. Oftentimes after their first year when they're living uh, on campus, they'll make friends and together two or three guys or two or three girls will move in together off campus and share an apartment. Or sometimes um, our students will end up joining one of our Greek organizations, or oftentimes they'll decide that they want to rent a house together and it's with a bigger group of six or seven students. And that's definitely also part of being a WSU Coug. Um, uh, so, so uh, additionally, uh, on top of the cost of living in Washington, uh, can you maybe tell us the uh, tuition range uh, for the programs at the university? Yeah, that's a great question. So one of the things that's really important to WSU is that we make tuition as affordable as possible. So we are obviously a well-ranked institution, right? And we are also one of the few 131 institutions that are ranked in or categorized in the R1 research classification. That means by Carnegie classification, we are been ranked as R1 high research intensity institution. Uh, what that also means for our bachelor's degree students is that they have opportunities to do research if they would like to. And when you compare WSU amongst R1 institutions in our league, which is the Pac-12 league, which includes Stanford, UCLA, Berkeley, Arizona State, Arizona, Oregon schools, Utah, uh, we're actually the lowest in tuition. Uh, our tuition, whether you as an international student, whether you're coming into our master's program or you're coming into our bachelor's degree program, 
is roughly $27,000 per year, which is about $13,000 a semester. Um, so it's very much a affordable cost of um, a cost of attendance uh, for students when they compare us for the degree value uh, of where our peers are, where tuitions could be much higher than that. Uh, so being committed to being ex accessible to students uh, from all over the world is very important to us, and that's why uh, our tuition is pretty affordable for students. Great, thank you. Uh, so what does the admission process look like for international students? Yeah, that great question. So our admissions process is pretty simple. Uh, all you got to do is, number one, go to futurecook.wsu.edu forward slash apply and create an account. Next thing you want to do is upload your transcripts, unofficial transcripts, whether that's your high school or university transcripts. And third thing you want to do is upload your passport bio page. So that's the photo page of your passport. And the last thing, the fourth thing you would need to submit, depending on your country of citizenship uh, or what degree you have, is English language proficiency scores. So that's your TOEFL, IELTS, Duolingo scores. And there are various ways for students to qualify for waiver of TOEFL and IELTS as well. Uh, but if you visit ip.wsu.edu, that actually outlines the entire process for students to get their um, application into WSU. Uh, perfect, perfect. So I know that you mentioned uh, about the uh, a little bit about the English requirements, but we have a question from Amina asking more uh, specifically to master's students, the English requirements for master's students. Yeah, great question, Amina. Um, we actually do require English language proficiency for our master's students, and we are able to uh, admit students for, for conditional admission into what we call our bridge track for students with um, IELTS as low as 5.5. Um, so that's at least the very minimum you would want to have for a TOEFL um, score of no less than 5560. Um, and when you, like I said, if you visit ip.wsu.edu, we have it all laid out right there. Great. And, and now, finally, the question that many of the students have been waiting for, what are the scholarship opportunities for international students applying? Of course, right. So as I was mentioning earlier, right, we are really committed to making um, education at WSU accessible to all our students. And so uh, we actually offer what we call international merit awards. Um, and for students who are interested in applying uh, for scholarships, the first thing you got to do is really got to submit your application for admission. Because without your application for admission, you will not be able to be considered for our international merit awards, which are um, automatic. And as long as students have a equivalent of a 3.3 cumulative GPA, uh, they're considered for that. In addition to that, we have our scholarship application where WSU awards upwards of 1 million financial aid to all our students every year. Um, and the application deadline for that is January 31st. So if you visit ip.wsu.edu, there's a link to our application. There's a link over there also to our financial aid application. Um, and you would simply apply, submit those applications. Our financial aid scholarship application does not have the application fee. It doesn't take anything for a student to uh, apply, uh, but also apply for admission so we can process both of those applications together for you. Also, uh, there's also a question uh, asking if there are any fully funded scholarships from Sue Claire. Sure, absolutely. So currently, we do not have full scholarships other than our student athlete scholarships that are available to students who want to pursue the NCAA uh, clearinghouse eligibility process for a full scholarship. So currently, and most public universities have moved away from full scholarships, um, but obviously we have plenty of partial scholarships to cover your studies. Great. Uh, uh, guys, 
I think like that was it from my side, from my questions. So now just take the time to ask your questions uh, and we will be answering them. I saw a question here from Daruba. I want to do Doctor of Pharmacy. Is there opportunity for a scholarship? Yeah, it's a great, great question, Daruba. There are, like I said, um, remember uh, the way the admissions process works is first you have to apply for admission and then you're considered for scholarship. So definitely quite a few scholarships are available. Uh, I encourage you to look into our website, ip.wsu.edu. If you do have questions about application process for our PharmD program, you, you would want to email us at international.wsu.edu and we can get you all settled in in order to apply for PharmD as early as September 2022. Great, thank you. So other than scholarships, uh, Daniel, are there any other ways that students can fund their studies? Uh, maybe perhaps we can talk about uh, part-time jobs if they can uh, work while studying. Yeah, great question, Lane. Uh, so almost all our international students choose to work on campus just to make sure they have a little bit of what some folks would call pocket money or just some spending um, spending ability, right? Um, so that's every international student, when they come to WSU, they're allowed to work part-time for 20 hours per week as a student on campus. And that's pretty common for our international students to do that. Uh, we're also able, able for our students, especially if they're coming into our fully funded PhD programs uh, or some of our thesis-based master's program, they do have options to apply for research assistantships and graduate assistantships for the master's and PhD programs. Um, so definitely recommend students looking into that. That's something that students would again do after they're admitted with their faculty member. Great. Uh, thank you. So there's a question. Uh, guys, keep your questions coming. We have like one, two, one, two more minutes going. So we still have time to answer your questions. From Akindel, are there scholarship for LLM uh, candidates? Great question. So uh, unfortunately, we do. The one program we don't have is actually our law program. Um, so we do not have scholarships for that. that. Awesome. So there is another question from Boseo. Want to pursue international relations at master's level. Uh, what is the expected tuition fees and the English competency test waiver for Nigerian students? Great question. So we do have an MS political science program and the tuition, as I said, is the same. That's the beauty of actually studying in the US is that unlike other countries where tuition may di differ, differ based on what you're studying in the US, whether you're studying political science or, or you're going to study computer science at WSU, your tuition is the same, which is about $27,000 per year. Um, and you can visit ip.wsu.edu to look at the English proficiency test waiver. Great. Uh, thank you for your question, Baseo, and thank you, Daniel, for answering that. So that was it for today. Uh, thank you so much, Daniel, for helping the students and for uh, telling them about the amazing programs at WSU. Do you have any maybe final uh, message that you want to uh, tell the students who want to study abroad? Thanks, Lena. It's a pleasure to be here, and uh, my biggest uh, advice would be please get on our website make sure you submit an application. The first step in making sure you're able to access our scholarships and different opportunities is submitting your application, submitting starting your application for WSU, whether you're studying bachelor's or master's. And then once you are admitted, we can help you navigate through your funding opportunities. Great, and uh, also, as you guys can see, you can get in touch if you have any more questions that you did not think of now. Maybe you can ask later, maybe you can find other information later. You can uh, contact uh, them at international at wsu.edu. So please don't hesitate to get in touch. And uh, thank you so much, Daniel, for being here. And yeah. see you soon. Thank you so much. Take care. 
So guys, thank you again for joining and being here and participating by asking the questions. That was very exciting. And I really hope that you uh, got a lot of answers from uh, Daniel and it's a great institution. So I encourage you to keep looking for the programs that you want. Also, please don't forget to check out our Instagram account. Um, it's here on the screen, the student world. We have a lot of amazing content uh, and posts and we always, we're always very active there. So please comment there and, uh, you know, like just connect with us. So thank you again for being here and see you soon. Thank you.